All right, so the next one here, congressional delegation meets with Taiwan's president-elect. So a U.S. congressional delegation visited Taiwan on Thursday to affirm bipartisan support for the first time since the island held presidential elections earlier this month. So this is Representative uh, Mario Diaz-Balart and Representative Ami Berra, so a Republican and a Democrat. They're co-chairs of the Congressional Taiwan Caucus. They met with Taiwanese president-elect Lai ching tae who is currently the vice president and a member of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party. Taiwan's current, current president, Tsai Ing-wen, has overseen eight years of a significant escalation in tensions with mainland China as her government forged stronger military and diplomatic ties with the U.S. More of the same is expected when Lai is inaugurated in May, although the opposition party Kuomintang, which seeks to ease tensions with Beijing, won the most seats in the legislative, legislative yuan. So Lai took aim at China in comments he made while meeting with these U.S. members of Congress, you know, explicitly mentioned China. He said, quote, Taiwan is situated in the first island chain and stands at the front line of China's authoritarian expansionism. This makes Taiwan a crucial strategic location. Stability across the Taiwan Strait is extremely important to regional and global peace and prosperity. I hope the United States can continue to firmly support Taiwan, deepen bilateral cooperation and relations, and work with other democratic partners to ensure peace and prosperity in the region, end quote. And he also called for more military support from the U.S., saying that he hopes Congress can um, help Taiwan bolster its self-defense capabilities. And in 2023, we saw the U.S. start providing Taiwan with unprecedented military aid since 1979, which is the year the U.S. and Taiwan cut off diplomatic relations. The U.S. has sold weapons to Taiwan, but in 2023, they started giving them military aid, you know, free of charge, not free of charge for the U.S. taxpayer, but free of charge for Taiwan. F relatively small packages when we're talking about other countries that the U.S. gives aid to, but still very significant and symbolic step that really, really angered China. And China does not like these congressional visits to Taiwan, especially I'm sure they're not going to be happy about this one. I haven't seen any comments. They, they might have made them. I wrote this up much earlier in the day. Um, you know, if you remember back in August 2022, when Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan when she was the House Speaker, China responded by launching its largest ever military drills around Taiwan. They really, the diplomatic stuff, really, uh, they really don't like. Um, so they view this type of engagement as a violation of, you know, the one China policy and everything. So tensions are high and... You know, the U.S. and China have been talking more, but tensions are still high. A day before Lai met with the visiting U.S. lawmakers, a US, the U.S. sailed a warship through the Taiwan Strait. So the U.S. is continuing those types of provocations in the Taiwan Strait, the South China Sea. And, of course, China, China responded, calling it a provocation and denouncing it and everything. 